go, here we go, here we go. Oh, so we've got about four or five carp on the surface. There is literally 20, 30 carp. So we're back on the banks. Today you've joined me on a little small commercial water and I'm here for an afternoon's fishing. It's about 12 o'clock. I've been here for probably 10, 15 minutes. Just chosen a nice close peg to where the car park is. There hardly anyone's on the lake. It's pretty much bogged down. It's been flooded around this area. So not many people have been fishing on here. So I thought I'd come here, do an afternoon's fishing. I've got worms or hook bait. I've just cast that out. And then over the course of the next three or four hours, I'll be chopping and changing, just trying to look for any fish, roam the hook bait along this margin line and hopefully try and catch a few fish. But there's loads in here. There's carp, perch, tench, there's even eels. And yeah, it's a right mixed bag. So I've just come for a bend in the rod really. So hopefully we can get a few fish this afternoon. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep an eye on this rod tip and hopefully over the next course of the three, four hours, we can try and get a fish in the bag. Today's bait, I've got some nice lobworms, these are fresh. Not like my last ones from my last session. And although it looks empty, there is quite a few in there. Some nice lobs in there. I've got the old ever faithful red maggot. I never leave home without these during the springtime. And then I've gone for four mil halibuts this time, a bit smaller, you know, roach, rod and these break down really quickly in the water. And then, obviously, you know, I'd be a fool if I left them without some kind of bread because this time of year, the carp are gonna be in the upper layers and you might get the opportunity to try and catch them. So, I've got a few slices of bread in there. And that is pretty much it. But like I say, it's a short afternoon session, so I don't need loads of bait. But that is my normal standard approach wherever I go. Even if I'm doing a full day session, that always got a few bits and bobs in there to tide me over. To be honest, I'm seeing more carp on the surface than any other fish. And although I'm loaded with maggots and worms wanted to catch off the deck, I think it's gonna be a case of getting the float on and doing some surface fishing because there's quite a few carp just here. I don't know how big they go to in here, to be honest. I think they probably got up to probably 20 pounds, something like that, so not huge, but yeah, there's about three or four fish on the surface just here, so. I'm gonna swap over from the leisure to the float, try and catch a few off the surface, but it looks like there's, there's quite a few of them about, to be honest. There's one just there that's trying to take a little bit of fluff off the surface. So yeah, what I'll do, change the tactics, and basically fish to what I can see. I've been here for about an hour, and nothing's, nothing's happened on the deck at all. Really quiet, so I'm gonna get the floater on, try and catch a few of the carp on this surface here and see if we can get any in the bag. Gone four surface fishing setup nice controller float just there probably five six foot hook link and a small little mixer hook just there and one of the reasons why I do like to bring a few slices of bread with me is exactly for now you know if there's fish showing I can see them clear as day in the top of the surface I've got my Polaroids on so what I'm gonna do get a bit of bread on the hook start casting out some of these showing fish and see what we can do but yeah, it's looking promising, so let me get some bread out there. Right, we've got carp in the swim, they're just near the hook bait now, right near it. Right, here we go, here we go. Come on, you little kipper. Let's be having you. So we're just approaching about two o'clock. I've been here for a couple of hours. I had a lot of opportunities for carp off the surface, but I've missed them. I've been a little bit too eager. The carp are just picking the bait up and I've tried all different bits and bobs. So, you know, we've got a couple of hours left. I'm gonna stick with the surface fishing, if I'm honest. There's quite a few carp 
knocking around here, there and everywhere. They're not massive, you know, I'm not here to be catching big carp, it's all sort of a mixed bag really, so I don't know how big they are and I don't know what the biggest in the lake is, but like I said, I'm going to stick with floating bread, I'm not going to put any freebies out, there's a lot of bird life on here, a lot of ducks and there's quite a few swans as well, so I'm just going to basically just play it by ear, keep roaming up and down this marginal line and then hopefully we can try and get one or two fish. Like I said, I'm here for a bend in the rod, so whether it's one, whether it's a couple, you know, it's a nice afternoon's fishing. So the sun's absolutely blasting, although it's fairly cold. We've got a northeasterly at the moment. And, you know, it's just it's one of them typical days in spring where you get a drop of sunshine, they're in the upper layers, they're cruising around, and they don't know whether they want to take bait off the surface or not. And I've seen a few where they've gone up and then just missed it, gone up and then just left it alone. So it's always that sort of gamble this time of year, but I'm going to persevere with it, keep cracking on. So what I'll do now, I'm going to move further down this margin and see if we can get any there or in fact just as I'm talking I can see him down there now so I'm going to get some more bread, head down there and then see if we can get one or two fish. Right so we've got about four or five carp on the surface, I'm just going to try and drag this piece of bread back see if we can catch them. Yeah there's about five carp there, only small but very welcome this time of the day. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, fucking hell. So close. Right, let's try again. The excitement always kicks in, you can always miss your first take. Come on you little kipper. Let's be having you. Be having you. Right, so the wind's picked up ever so slightly and I can't see us getting any off the top now, to be honest. So what I might do is, there's a lake on the other side of here, the bigger lake. I think I might go there for the last couple of hours of the session and see if we can get anything off the top because if they're topping on here, no doubt they're going to be on the other lake as well. So I'm going to quickly wrap up, shoot round there and let's see what we can get from that lake. Well, the weather's absolutely glorious. I mean, this morning it was woolly out weather. Now it's sort of sun hats, shades. And there's been a few fish sort of going for the bait and then just turning away. And I've tried all different bits. And, you know, you're coming out of winter into spring. It's always that time where the fish can be a little bit picky. You know, it's all to do with the water temperature and the weather. They're sort of basking at the moment. They're not really interested in feeding. So I'm going to give it probably another half an hour. Then I'm going to start wrapping up and shooting home. You know, originally I thought I was going to be leisuring with worms and maggots and then it's just flipped over and I've been surface fishing for carp. So all I'm gonna do is just persevere with this and then hopefully we can try and get another fish in the bag. Right, so we're on the second lake. And from what I can see, a load of carp tucked away in this bay area. So I had a feeling that they might be in the shallow water. So I'm gonna try and catch them off the surface now, see if we can get any action. But they're really close in.
all night. There's a scrapper, I'll give him that. margin lines quite funny to see to be honest there we go lovely juggler that is the first one of the session he's absolutely battering me up on this mat so i'm going to be quick and it's fairly warm as well it's warmed up to what it was earlier on but that's a beautiful fish really nice and like i said i've come here for a few hours that lake did nothing hopefully this one will catch a few so i'll get him back and then hopefully we can get a few more in the bag but yeah i'm over the moon with that one i really am wicked Good, mate. All the way. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of the session. It's been a, it's been roasting to be honest. I mean, this morning it was minus one. I had my woolly hat on, and then as it's time's gone on, I've had the hat on, the shades, and the forecast was about 10 degrees. Now it must have been 15, 16 degrees. It must have been. So I think he's going to be having the aircon on on the way back home. But now it's been a productive sort of few hours. I had that nice common. That was a really nice fish. The few hours after that, it was sort of 50-50. The wind kept kicking in. The odd fish was going near the surface, but they just weren't taking the bait. It's that sort of tidal where the fish, they're in the upper layers, they've got nice warm sunshine, and they're slowly going to start going for the baits on the top. And the one I had when I first got here on this sort of marginal line, there was like 20-odd carp just all sitting, getting some sun on the back, so they weren't ready for feeding. I just managed to get one. But then after that, it's just been hit and miss, and the fish have been up and down. And when this wind kicked in, it dropped them straight down. But there has been one in that reeds. I've been trying for about an hour and a half longer than I was supposed to be here for. And it kept coming out, and it went, it went for the bread once. And I was a little bit too eager and I tried and tried and tried and yeah, it didn't take anything so. But I'm more than happy with what I've had, you know, we've got a bend in the rod. I was thinking I'd be fishing for tension perch with my kits and worms, but obviously this warm weather, the minute I seen them carp in the upper layers, I thought I've got to get some surface baits out. And that's why I normally bring bread with me, about four or five slices, just to try my luck. And it's paid off, you know, I, no doubt I'd have probably blanked in the top lake. But this one's done the business. It would have been nice to get a couple of more fish, but I'm not going to be greedy, you know, a three or four hour session and I'm more than happy with the results. So, yeah, I just want to thank everyone for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.